Hi, welcome back. I'm Dave with Remodel Media. And today I'd like to talk to you about the different types of stones. No, no, not, not that type of stone. I'm, I meant like stone as in rock. No, 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 not that rock. No, countertops. Just roll the intro. When you're shopping for a countertop, there are a lot of decisions that take place, including how you intend to live with it, how you intend to take care of it, and just in general what it's going to look like now versus 10, 20 years from now. I'm going to break it down for you into the two main categories and a few different subcategories from there. The two main categories are going to be natural stone and composite stone or composite quartz and various other composite materials, man-made materials, as opposed to natural stone that's come right out of the ground. So one of the most popular opinions that I hear when I'm uh, dealing with somebody selecting their countertop is, hey Dave, I heard from my sister's hairdresser's cousin's dog's groomer that I, I shouldn't do marble because it doesn't hold up. I'm not sure what you mean by marble not holding up. I mean, try telling that to the ancient Greeks. They use marble for everything, and, it's, and most of it's still around. Okay. Usually when somebody says marble countertops don't hold up well, what they actually mean is marble is a natural stone. A natural stone is going to have pores. It's going to possibly get stained over time. If you spill red wine, uh, I've had some people tell me some stories about various uh, you know, makeup situations that they've had in their bathroom, things like that. So marble absolutely will hold up. The thing about natural stone, whether we're talking about granite, marble, or quartzite, not to be confused with man-made quartz-based countertops, something very different, is they're all natural stones. They will have those pores that I talked about. That's what somebody means when they say marble doesn't hold up. It absolutely does. It just requires a little bit of care. The different materials in the natural stone category can actually be ranked by hardness with one of the most dense, hardest materials being a quartzite, a natural quartz that gets mined straight out of the ground, next being granite, next being materials like marble and maybe limestone, and followed up by softer stones like soapstone and things like that. Any of these stones can be sealed, but just know that a natural stone product comes with a certain degree of maintenance if you want it to look nice now and 10 years from now. Probably the only exception to that that I'm aware of at this time is a material called Sensa granite. Now you heard me talk about sill granite materials in the kitchen sinks. These are composite stone materials. That's not what I'm talking about today. Uh, Cosentino, the parent company of Silestone and Decton, has a material called Sensa granite. Sensa granite is essentially, it's just granite that's been mined out of the ground just like any other granite is, uh, but it's treated and it's sealed and it's got a 10-year warranty against any sorts of stains or anything like that. If you want the natural beauty that goes along with getting a granite countertop or a natural stone countertop, that unpredictable nature of the highs and lows in the material, and you want something that is fairly maintenance-free for a longer period of time, Sensa granite is actually a really good option for you. I'm going to post some links in the description below. Now, quartzite is one of your most durable materials in the sense that it's the hardest to scratch. Uh, it's not to be confused with materials such as silestone uh, that are going to be a composite quartz. No, it's not a composite material at all. It's natural quartz that's mined out of the ground and it has the same highs and lows that you find in granite. Now, when selecting your slabs, it's important to take into account the fact that you may need more than one slab, especially with natural stone. Natural stone comes in a series, so what you need to understand is if you want matching material 
around your home or even just throughout the kitchen, you have to buy the slabs in sequence so they have a similar vein and a similar coloration. If you buy a slab now and a slab six months from now, even if they're the same color, they won't be. So just be aware of that. Now, man-made materials, there have been a lot of advancements. We're not talking about, you know, mom's Corian countertops that feel like plastic or, you know, whatnot. I'm going to start with probably the most common category, and that is a quartz composite countertop. Uh, a material like style stone right here is every bit as durable as any other stone that's out there. The thing to remember about most quartzes is that they tend to be very consistent. Uh, it's antimicrobial in the sense that uh, there, there are no pores for bacteria to grow. There's no, uh, and, and there's no surface for bacteria to grow on. The surface by itself naturally inhibits the bacteria growth. That reminds me of a joke. A piece of silestone walks into a bar. Bartender says, what's the matter, buddy? You look upset. <sighs> Things are bad at work, Jim. What do you mean? Everybody just keeps taking me for granted. But in all seriousness, you know, quartz composite is a great way to go. But there are other composite materials as well, including glass composite materials. Probably the most popular material that I, I see in the glass composite category, although I will say my friends over at Cosentino, they have some too. But Vitrazo is probably the first one that comes to people's mind when they talk about glass composite and it's really cool. Now there is a downside to these composite materials, whether it be a glass or I've actually witnessed a Vitrazo countertop installed in an outdoor kitchen and I don't think that's a good idea and the, even the manufacturer does not believe that that's a good idea. The reason it's not a good idea is because these glass bits are joined together by a layer of resin material. Now the resin, when exposed to direct sunlight, tends to weaken in the UV light over a period of time. What can happen then is you place something hot directly on your countertop, you can crack. It's not a guarantee, but you could crack the countertop all the way across the, the whole surface. That's a process called thermal shock, and that is something to be aware of no matter what stone you pick. If there is a microscopic fracture, a microscopic imperfection in any of the stone countertops you pick, that includes granite, natural stone, composite materials, whatever it is, then you could cause a thermal shock if you place a hot pot directly on it. I've seen it happen with granite. I've seen it happen with uh, a composite a quartz countertop, and I've seen it happen with glass. So I've seen it happen in all the different ways that you can see it. But the recycled glass countertops are a really cool, eco-friendly way to go. I'm going to post some links for you to explore in the description below as well. But these aren't your only options in a composite quartz category. Let's go explore some others. Now Cambria is a really great material that is actually US made. Not all of these materials are made in the US. Uh, Silestone, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, comes from Spain. Uh, Caesar stone comes from Israel. Cambria is one of the only quartz materials that I'm aware of that is actually made in the US of A. And they have a lot of different materials, but the thing that impresses me most about Cambria is all this variation that you get. Typically when people think of a quartz countertop, they think of something fairly generic like this. This is a sample from Color Quartz. But they've, a lot of materials, including Cambria, has come a long way in achieving something a little closer to a natural stone look. And the fact that they have lots of different colors to choose from that fit just about every color scheme including that Superman uh, theme you wanted to go for with the red, red with the blue speckles. That color is called cardigan red, like Mr. Rogers. 
But there's one more quartz material I'm really, really excited to share with you because it's one of the only quartz materials or man-made materials that I've ever seen that is actually warranted for use in an outdoor kitchen. Let me show you. Check this out. This is a material, it's from Cosentino. You remember I mentioned them? They're the parent company of Silestone. They have a material called Dekton. Dekton is a really interesting material. Now, it, it is a quartz-based material, but instead of being just mixed with a resin the way Silestone and some others are, it, they are actually mixed with a porcelain material. That porcelain makes this material very dense, very, very durable, and very resistant to ultraviolet light, which a lot of man-made countertops are not. Something to be considered when you're doing an outdoor kitchen. I've seen this material installed in a commercial kitchen, and the chefs, when they were doing their demonstrations, would actually take great pleasure in making creme brulee and accidentally hitting the countertop with the blowtorch just to freak people out who are watching because that's how durable this thing was. They actually, these same chefs actually had to start using cutting boards because their knives were getting so dull. That's how tough this stuff is. So when you're building an outdoor kitchen, consider Dekton. Thanks for hanging out with us today. Make sure to give us a like and a subscribe and leave a comment in the comments below. What countertop do you wish you had? What countertop do you have currently? Or what countertop have you had in the past that you just absolutely loved? You can go ahead and click here to watch more videos. You can click here to like and subscribe. And until next time, have a good one.